now let's discuss another question this question is from the topic post mauryan age question is the kusana empire under kanishka was a period of great cultural and economic prosperity discuss so let's discuss it the kusana empire under emperor kanishka experienced a golden era characterized by significant cultural economic and political advancements kanishka reign of it dated to the early 2nd century CE saw the flourishing of trade art and religion this period is marked by a unique confluence of cultures facilitated by the empire's strategic geographical position and the emperor's patronage of various cultural and religious traditions so let's talk about cultural prosperity during kusana empire first one buddhist patronage Kanishka's reign is notably associated with the promotion of Buddhism. He convened the Fourth Buddhist Council in Kashmir, which played a crucial role in the development of Mahayana Buddhism. This council led to the compilation and systematization of Buddhist texts, significantly impacting the religion's doc doctrinal evolution. For example, the construction of stupas and monasteries under kanishka such as the kanishka stupa in peshawar second art and architecture the kusana period is renowned for its distinctive art particularly the gandhara and mathura schools of art first one gandhara art influenced by the greco roman styles produced iconic representations of the buddha blending indian and hellenistic artistic traditions second one the mathura schools on the other hand developed a more indigenous styles characterized by robust and sensuous figures contributing significantly to indian sculptures so let's discuss third point cultural syncretism the kushana empire strategic location facilitated cultural exchanges between india central asia and the mediterranean this syncretize this syncretism is evident in the diverse artistic styles religious practices and languages that flourished under kanishka's rule for example the introduction of the bactrian language and the use of greek script in inscriptions illustrate the empire's cultural amalgamation now let's talk about economic prosperity under kanishka first one trade and commerce the kusana empire controlled key segments of the silk road enhancing trade between the east and the west this trade network facilitated the exchange of goods such as silk spices precious stones and textiles contributing to the empire's wealth for example the issuance of gold and copper coins under kanishka bearing inscriptions in greek and bactrian second one agricultural development the empire's prosperity was also underpinned by advancements in agriculture the fertile regions of the indus valley and northern india provided ample agricultural produce supporting both urban and rural population for example the development of irrigation system and agrarian infrastructure further boosted agricultural productivity ensuring economic stability third one urbanization and infrastructure the kusanas established and expanded urban centers contributing to economic growth cities such as peshawar or puru sapura mathura and taksila became important trade and cultural hubs the construction of roads and caravan caravan uh, caravan seran is sorry caravan sera is facilitated trade and movement across the empire for example the karakoram highway tracing ancient trade routes so at last the legacy of kanishka's rule is evident in the lasting impact of kusana art the spread of buddhism and the economic integration of regions 
spanning from Central Asia to India. So, this is all about this question.